critical store. This is like the store for all the elderly in the neighborhood. They can walk over here. There's no stairs. Easy in, easy out. It's not helping the black community. It's not helping the homeless. It's not helping us at all. Tonight, it's the very real human cost of a neighborhood closure. The Safeway in San Francisco's Fillmore District is set to shut down. And the community says it's more than just a bag of groceries. Neighbors in the Fillmore and Western Edition neighborhoods are still angry tonight, saying if this plan goes through, it will have long-term negative implications on the city's black community. The announced closure for that store in the heart of the city on Webster Street came late last week. Tonight, ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone is hearing the calls from neighbors and community leaders and brings us this story. In less than two months, this Safeway grocery store will close according to executives. You're gutting it. You're just gutting the neighborhood. Community members are outraged, saying seniors and handicapped individuals have been forgotten about. Those with Safeway say they have entered into an agreement to sell the three-plus acre site to a real estate company for a mixed-use development project to include housing and commercial retail space. They need to really do things about taking things from the inner city that we need, and then you're developing housing. Housing for who? The homeless? You need to do better than that. It is a destruction of a community. And those thoughts from Dr. Amos Brown of the NAACP are echoed by those that live in the Western Edition, who believe this will directly impact low-income black and Asian communities. Mayor London Breed told our partners at the SF Standard, this is a real and rare opportunity to add a significant amount of new homes in this part of our city and even a new grocery store. But plans for a new grocery store have not been solidified and community members we spoke with took target at the mayor. And for London to not even fight for the black community, to have this store stay here for the blacks, it seems like they're just moving all the blacks out. So you're blaming the mayor on this? I, I, I blame London because I think London should have done more. She was raised in this area. Supervisor Dean Preston's office says they reached out to Safeway and the developer to explore the possibility of including a grocery store as part of any planned development at the site. They need to stop the car, slow things down, and permit this black community to get aboard and include us. The closure of this store means that shoppers will have to travel more than a mile to another Safeway or Lucky Supermarket, a little more than half a mile if and when a new Trader Joe's opens in Hayes Valley. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.